Hi, I'm Qualia Redux. I have tried writing this video and filming it a couple of times and it hasn't felt right. So I'm going to try something. I'm going to try doing something a little bit unscripted. So if I look a little bit of a mess and if I'm a little bit rambly, please understand that's why. When I first started my writing career, I thought I'd be a fiction writer. And then I took a step back from that because I wanted to focus more on my nonfiction. I thought I was mostly going to do policy analysis and then put stuff that didn't really fit in an article in this channel. So far that's gone pretty well, but in the past couple of months there's been kind of a political emergency that's taken up most of my energy as a writer. And that is the wave of transphobia that's sweeping this nation. Unfortunately, I happen to know something about transphobia, and that's because I am trans. Specifically, I'm non-binary. This is not me coming out. I have been out for a minute. I was telling my parents when I was very small that I was not a girl, and even reasserted that again and again through my teens. It wasn't until I was in my 30s that I even heard the term non-binary, and I said, yeah, that is what I am. Even though I'm femme and passing and all that, it's still been hard. I think it was two months ago when Ken Paxton, the attorney general here in Texas, released a directive that said that trans-affirming care for minors, that is social transition for small children, hormone blockers for tweens, hormones and surgery for people who are of the age of majority and later teens. That's now considered child abuse. <laughs> um, that's hard. And part of the reason why it's hard is, yeah, the trans rate of depression, mental illness, and suicide is pretty high compared to the general population. But you know what brings those rates down? Allowing people to transition. That is true across multiple studies. There's a scientific consensus on this. Trans people are who they say they are, and allowing them to live their truth, our truth, makes us happier. Since the Greg Abbott directive, it feels like there have been new fresh hells almost every day. Apparently the press secretary for the governor of Florida is buddy-buddy with a Twitter account which doxes trans people and their allies, takes them out of context, and accuses them of grooming children, which previously was a term related to sexual abuse, which has been appropriated, taken out of context, and now just means being trans around children. I don't believe for a second that they're sincere about their accusations. They're doing this because they want to express that whatever violence they want to throw our way is justified. It's a particularly sadistic accusation as well, because a lot of us are victims ourselves. Like, we are actually at a way higher risk of having been victims than the general population. So having this thing thrown at us, at, at people who would never do this to a child, and who are victims ourselves, it's upsetting, of course, and they enjoy that it's upsetting. The cruelty is the point is a cliche at this point, but it's true. This is sadism. I'm, I'm actually kind of hesitant to say, yeah, I've been struggling, yeah, this is hard, because there are people who want to hear that, who really get off on trans pain. It also sucks because there are attacks on trans solidarity. Like, I'm an elder trans. The fact that I am alive and happy is important for people. There's something called a possibility model. People who are young need to see themselves older and happy in the adults in their lives. And even if it's a stranger saying, hey, look, I'm old as hell. I've been through some shit and I have survived it. And I came out happy. I'm happy and you can be happy. That has been historically really twisted against people. 
There are a couple of trans man YouTubers, Jamie Dodger, uh, Ty Turner, who do this wonderful uplifting content, which I've been consuming a lot of myself. It's nice to see them happy. It's nice to see them thriving and laughing. While watching some of this content, I came across a video by Ty Turner talking about how he was covered in Abigail Schreier's book, Irreversible Damage. And the fact that he is putting out content where he'll occasionally say stuff like, it's going to be okay to an audience of people who don't always know that and who struggle because they don't always know that. Abigail Schreier really twisted this into like this weird seducing of young people. And that's not what it is at all. It's not about converting people to being trans. It's about the fact that there are people who are trans who are going to grow up to be trans if they get to grow up at all and who don't have the support of their family and their community. And we know the statistics cold. We know that rejection is what causes trans deaths. That's it. That's just the truth. And it's so hard to know that there are cynical self-promoters out there in the media, in politics, who are whipping up this moral panic and directing their rage at the most vulnerable people on the planet. I know my statistics. Teens are not watching me. For some reason, little babies do not want to hear my thoughts on Nabokov's Pale Fire. <laughs> so let me talk to the adults here. If you know a trans child, if they're your child, the best thing you can do for them is love them and support them and let them be who they are. If you find you're a Christian, like me, and you think your religious beliefs prohibit you from supporting trans people, I would ask you to look into churches like the Episcopal Church who affirm trans identities. We go so far as to have celebrations of trans people embracing their new name. There is no excuse. Anyway, my battery is getting mad at me, so I need to bounce. I have written a few articles on this trans moral panic, and more are coming. I'll link them down below. And I sincerely want to thank my Patreon supporters. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You make this doable. Look for a longer video from me on, I don't know, Danganronpa? Maybe the end of Men, that Tucker Carlson thing? Let me know in the comments below what you'd prefer. And take care of yourself. It's getting a little rough out there.